Hey guys, my name is Albert Ellison III. I'm a screenwriter, producer, and award-winning director. I'm currently in production and on set of my first feature film, The Profession. In the description below the video, you can find a link to my free screenplay guide, which is an outline of the first 10 lessons in this course and every fundamental element to screenwriting. These are worksheets you can fill out as we discuss the topics so you might be able to retain the information better. It's my gift to you, so submit your email and you'll find the package in your inbox. Get your hands on the worksheet before we proceed into this episode. Characters are the spine of story. When we walk away from a film, it's the characters we remember. While still vital in film, television professionals will always tell you that they're looking for someone with an outstanding understanding in character, for those characters have to carry the story forward for seasons and seasons. So let's today look at how to create characters that will hold a place in our hearts and minds. Let's be honest, we all have had a point where we're excited to write a character based on some quirk or cosmetic exterior that we think is just super cool or hilarious. I think many people have a proclivity to observe the surface level elements of a character and latch onto that as the reason they like them. The biggest lesson you'll quickly learn is that people simply don't care about your characters. Your audience feels unengaged, distanced. You saw these character traits done in other films, so why does it not work in your screenplay? Even these people who previously might say that the sense of humor is what made the character so beloved to them will not be engaged in your character regardless of the external traits. And this is because whether we consciously or subconsciously understand it, there is one vital reason that characters resonate with us. Their beliefs. I want to propose a simple diagram that sums up the core of a character. Beliefs inform needs. Needs inform wants. By following this diagram, we can consistently create characters that people will care about without fail. Later in the video, I'll also be explaining where and how these exterior surface level quirks and cosmetics could be used for your character, and in which part of the process developing them is most appropriate. First, let's look at the end of the diagram with the want. What does our character want? This is an external goal, which the audience should usually be able to recognize immediately. This is the fuel that will make up the events of the story as they are informed by the actions of the characters, and the actions the characters take will be based upon what they want. Every single person wants something, and those desires stem out of our beliefs. If you were to look at my channel and see the name of it change, that won't actually change me as a person if my videos are saying the same things, if my beliefs are the same. To find the root of our character, we must know what they want. Let's look at Parasite by Bong Joon-ho, 2019. Taking the character Ki-woo, we can see at the beginning of the film that he has a desire for basic human privileges like Wi-Fi and food. He searches for a means to acquire what he wants. Climbing into a perch in his bathroom to access the free Wi-Fi from a diner. Swindling an unassuming employee to hire him into their company. He receives a stone that represents the material wealth he seeks. These are very obvious desires that the main character has, and they are the first things we notice about him. The second step of the diagram is to find what your character needs. A need is what the character must discover about themselves or the world to become complete, balanced, or whole. Similar to the want, the need also stems out of your character's beliefs. Sometimes your characters will even be unaware of their needs, until they come to realize it through pursuing their wants. There should be a tipping point in the story where what the character is pursuing switches from their wants to their needs, as this is the means to truly complete themselves. Quote, Your character will spend most of the story pursuing his outer goal, the thing he wants, but what the story is really about, on a deeper level, is his growth into a place where he, first subconsciously, then consciously, recognizes and pursues his inner goal, the thing he needs. End quote. K.M. Wieland. Let's look back at the character Ki Wu. For much of the film, he is pursuing his wants. He achieves getting a job, a fake societal position, a girlfriend, and money all through swindles and lies. He does anything he has to do to get what he wants. But then, over the course of the film, his need starts to emerge from within. 
while his parents intentionally live without making plans and fly by the seam of their pants, a need to prove himself legitimately arises. At a key moment where he looks out over a yard full of rich people, he asks his girlfriend if he fits in with them. He wants to pursue a legitimate job, a real life without stealing from others. He wants to have a plan like his father never did, but he also knows that this is a challenge and not easily acquirable. He buries his metaphorical rock in a riverbed with countless other similar stones because he learns that this original want ultimately means nothing, and that it's more about the pursuit of greatness that counts rather than the fruits that it may bear. He discovers that success is determined by ambition and effort more than status or material wealth. He pursues his plan. As we see in these examples, the confrontation with their need always points to a truth they had not discovered yet. Their need can only be fulfilled by learning the truth. Again, the needs and wants inform the events of a story. Quote, In order for your character to change in a positive way, he has to start out with something lacking in his life, some reason that makes change necessary. He is incomplete in some way, but not because he is lacking something external. End quote. K. M. Wieland. Now, we spoke about truth being the core of a character's needs. Truth stems out of what you believe. Let's draw a circle and a line down the middle. We've spoken about philosophical conflict, and you can check out these videos if you need to understand that concept better. Philosophical conflict must inform every part of your story. Following that principle, your characters, i.e. their beliefs, must also be informed by it. You notice how in Whiplash, all of these characters have beliefs toward the value of being remembered, making a name for yourself. You notice how in Parasite, everyone has an opinion on their societal stature, their worth, and what that means? That is because all of those characters are being informed by a central, philosophical conflict. Your story must also. In this circle, let us describe the philosophical conflict of Parasite. The two opposing sides. Now, when creating characters, you place them around the circle to show where they stand. Mr. Park is the advocate for straight-up citizens of status, so we'll put him square on this side of the argument. Alternatively, Ki Woo's father, Kang Ho Song, is on the complete opposite side where he actively discourages Ki Woo from carving a strong direction in life or really trying to be successful at all. So here, we find Ki Woo caught in the middle somewhere. He is under the graces and payroll of Mr. Park, but a son under Kang Ho Song. We can put his name directly across the line. Then, we have some other characters like Chung Suk and Da Hai, who may be weighted in certain directions here, but aren't the epitome of any one argument. Casting your protagonist down the middle is usually a very compelling way to organize your story because it sets the story at an unbiased starting point where the audience must choose what they believe just as the protagonist does throughout the course of the film. This turning point, where the pursuit of want becomes the pursuit of need, usually also will indicate that the character's place on this circle leans one direction or another and will find solid footing. That is when the film makes an argument about its subject. Another note to point out is that every single character, every single side of the argument, must be treated with the same level of respect and care by you, the writer. If the arguments are weighted from the beginning, then the audience will not be able to empathize with the arguments, thus deflating the impact of the story. Empathy. You may have heard this word slip out of my mouth. Being empathetic means we care about someone. But more importantly, being empathetic is to understand. The key to making your audience care and empathize with your characters is to let your audience understand them. Let their beliefs, their needs, their wants seep out through the story and they will connect with them. Even dark characters we would immediately assume to despise, we fall for every time when they are written correctly. The Joker from The Dark Knight, Thanos from Avengers, Mark Zuckerberg from The Social Network, Syndrome from The Incredibles, Daniel Plainview from There Will Be Blood. The key to empathy is understanding. I use this philosophical conflict circle to map out the characters for every story I make, but it's only my personal tool. Now, external elements of a character. Everything we've discussed is what makes up the core of a character, but despite how hard I discouraged it at the beginning of the video, Filling out these surface-level elements is actually very important. 
Oftentimes, the exterior choices you make for a character can mirror and exemplify the core of a character. In Fargo, the bumbling speech patterns of Jerry allude to the idiocracy of his plans. In The Lighthouse, Thomas looks crazed and hunches over, speaking to the greedy and ravenous nature of his character. Look at Paul Thomas Anderson films, and you'll find a character trait given to each specific character to not only make them more memorable externally, but to also magnify their inner beliefs. I would encourage you to always work from the inside out on characters, but never forget to work on the exterior as well, because dressing a skeleton is important. Remember guys, you can get my free screenplay guide in the description below. Submit your email to receive that as we continue into this recap. How to create characters. When we walk away from a story, it's the characters we remember. It may be natural to try and base your characters off external aesthetics which appeal to you, but you'll soon find your characters unsympathetic and hollow. While these external elements are important, the key to character creation is their beliefs. Beliefs inform needs, which then inform wants. By following this diagram, you will consistently create characters that people care about. Wants should be instantly recognizable to the audience. They are the external desires of the characters that inform their actions. What you want stems out of what you believe. Needs are what the characters must discover about themselves to become complete, balanced, or whole. They come to realize their need through pursuing their wants. Similarly to the wants, a character's need must stem from their beliefs. Beliefs are where your character stands in relation to the philosophical conflict at hand. Being empathetic means to care about someone. The key to making characters we care about is understanding their beliefs. Agreeing with their beliefs is not what will make us care, it is simply a deep understanding of their beliefs. Position your characters with beliefs on opposite sides of your philosophical conflict to create the opposing forces of your film. Story consists of characters acting on their beliefs and changing until a point of resolution is met. Thank you all for listening to this episode. If you did find it helpful or informative in any way, uh, please leave it a like. But if you thought it could have been better, leave it a thumbs down so that I know to do better next time. In the next video, we'll cover character arcs, but I hope that this dive into the fundamentals of creating compelling characters has been helpful.